Oh, shoot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder, and today I'm reacting to Liar Liar. Continuing my run of some classic 90s comedies. I uh, just did Team America last week, which I know is technically 2000s, not 90s, but I just wanted to watch that because I've heard about it, and it did not disappoint at all. Outrageous, hilarious, truly one-of-a-kind comedy. Uh, now moving on to Liar Liar. I know this is starring Jim Carrey. I believe the premise of the movie is that um, he's a character who somehow, I don't know if it's a curse or something, he's not able to ever lie. And so he gets into kind of awkward social situations with some brutal honesty, which uh, reminds me of the premise of a Ricky Gervais film, which I also haven't seen, but I've, I think I watched a trailer for it. The something... The origin of lying, maybe? I don't know, but maybe not. Maybe this is a different premise than I was thinking of that movie, but heard this one is really, really funny, and uh, yeah, excited to kind of check it out. As always, a full reaction to this is up on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my 90s comedy reactions. Next week, I'll have Ace Ventura, Pet Detective coming out. Uh, excited to watch that Jim Carrey one as well. Let's get into today's reaction. Liar, liar. Pants on fire, is that underneath the main title? I think it should be. R K work. <laughs> Story of everyone's life. My dad, he's but unemployed. A liar. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure you don't mean a liar. Don't expose your parents, kid. He wears a suit and goes to court and talks to the judge. Oh, an attorney. <laughs> I get it. You mean he's a lawyer? Chuck McGill would be insulted. But are lawyer jokes still in fashion? I feel like you don't hear them as often now. Want your coat back? No, I'm sure you'll be needing it again. And again. <laughs> Repeat offender. It's my day to be with my son. A couple of reporters want to talk to you about your big win today. Oh yeah? How's my hair? Is he more corrupt than Keanu Reeves in The Devil's Advocate? That's what I want to know. Come on, your dad drives a nicer car than that. At least he seems excited to see his son, you know? Nothing can stop the Is it a Toy Story reference? Do the car to mom, Dad! Do the car to mom! Uh-oh. <laughs> the mom is like, the mom is like, no, do not. Okay, <laughs> I'm late. I'm sorry. I ran out of gas. That gauge is broken or something. Liar. Good thing I was wearing neutral gang colors. Might have had to pull out my nine and bust a cap. Would never hurt you, Fletcher. You're their lawyer. Ooh, that was below the belt. Try to keep the gloves up. Taking me to see wrestling. <sighs> Fletcher. <sighs> Audrey. <laughs> that stuff is very violent. Oh, wrestling, is it? Oh, good. Jerry, how's it going? Hey, Kipper. Mommy's new boyfriend. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> His expression. <laughs> Image. Deleted. <laughs> Oh, right, the job, the thing, the... What do you do again? <laughs> I made this young man a promise, didn't I? Got time to throw a few? Don't tell me that's what's his name from Princess Bride. You guys aren't... You know... <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dating him for seven months, what do you think? Really? Uh, just hold hands, that's what I think. Married, I wasn't having sex nearly as often as you were. Ouch! Oof. Max is gonna miss you. I'll be here. Ready? Are you here enough, though? Are you wrestling? Absolutely, Max Factor. We just have to stop by the office for one minute. Oh, no, no, no. Just spend the day with your son. Possible consistent with the truth. Will you let the judge decide what's true? That's what he gets paid for. The dilemma of defense attorneys, right? But, Miranda, I won't lie. Then we'll just have to find someone who will. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> you do something to your hair? <laughs> what gave it away? My facial features. Well, that's what it does. It completely accents your facial features. <laughs> the kid does not approve. Looks and personality. A double threat guy! Hey, man! It's, uh, Randy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, you did it. No, you did it. Read anything? No! Uh, I had so much for breakfast, I'm just about ready to pop. I mean... Tomorrow. 
I am sure that your daddy has got you something wonderful. Yeah? Did you forget? You bet! <laughs> Did he forget his son's birthday? Okay. I completely forgot. Oh, what a surprise. You are... Oh, wow. Give her a raise. Trep throat. No, some kind of virus. What's going around? Asian flu? <laughs> COVID. That's an easy one. Your mother called. I'm on vacation. It's your fifth week. <laughs> heart done <laughs> how much ass do i have to kiss to make partner in this damn play <laughs> tell her i broke my leg and i had to be shot uh why don't you tell exposed miranda hey I didn't... that was a pretty good fake surprise you look beautiful today here i bought you gift <laughs> what oh no no after she helped you out with the birthday gift. Folks are meeting again soon. I've just been keeping myself so busy, I haven't even thought about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. We're not going, are we? Oh, the work-life balance. He's like the dad from Hook over here. You know how there are moments in life that you know are critical? Choices that have to be made? Okay, this is a proposal speech, isn't it? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say as you wish. Will you marry me? Could you wait until she had, you know, gotten all that pasta? <laughs> you know I'm not prone to wild, spontaneous flights of romantic fancy. <laughs> <laughs> she does not look like she wants to say yes at all. I love Max. You love Max. It's right. It fits. <laughs> the math is right. What do you say? The feelings, not so much. <laughs> if I ever got that response from a proposal, that's worse than a no. <laughs> no. Happy birthday. Turn the beer keg. Cancel the dancing. These, these jokes are too clever for this kid. Maybe not. Maybe not. He's a smart kid. I hope it's not partially digested. Oh, what a love! <laughs> cool. What is it? I mean, it's it's really sweet how playful he is with his son. Stop it! it. I'm gonna call it because I'm getting it. It better be something good. Baseball stuff! Baseball stuff! Can we play? Absolutely! Yay! <laughs> do it right now before you get too busy. Get after your party tonight, we'll do it. Oh, uh, no, no, don't delay it. It's not gonna happen. I just have to really concentrate on this right now. The sun knows, you can tell. This has happened too many times. Three, four, five, and one for good luck. He struck the child, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Arrest him, child assault. Bye, Dad! Jerry, enjoy my wife. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Only Jim Carrey, man. Raising his children, they are his. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. One for sure. One for sure? Okay. The wife of a cold, distant workaholic, starved for affection, driven into the arms of another man. Seven. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Wake up, sisters. There's no <laughs> thing as a weaker sex. I am so grateful. You're gonna be number eight very soon. Russ? Yep. <laughs> be smart, just take her money. How would you like to make a partner right now? Hmm? Oh. Wow, wow, that turned her on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> be happy, 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 happy times. I don't think I would invite that clown to my kid's birthday, just saying. I can't go. What? Well, why not? Well, because of Max. Oh, but he'll love it there. Yeah, this is no, this is no as you wish relationship. It does come over. Max is so happy. I mean, it's like they have their own little world together. That is true. You can see that. Their special relationship. <laughs> when you bomb in front of your boyfriend. <laughs> they're 3,000 miles apart, they're never gonna see each other. Fletcher's never gonna come to Boston. I mean, you would see that why, why that would be a concern for mom, right? I've got this problem on a new kid. Hey! What happened? Nothing! <laughs> Boss is, uh, really riding me. <laughs> Hold on a minute, I'll get him. You can say happy birthday. Ah, uh, no, I gotta go! Goodbye. Can't even say happy birthday. Make a wish. My, I wish my dad was here. Come on, Max. Oh, this is how the premise is gonna happen. He's gonna wish that his dad couldn't lie anymore, right? Are you gonna be here? Make a wish. BTW, you just failed as cinematographer. Just saying. 
Only one day, Dad couldn't tell a lie. Oh, it's just one day? 24 hours curse? That's not too bad. Is it, does it start at midnight, like a Cinderella thing, or is it right now for 24 hours? Is it good for you? He's like, did I make partner? Then it was I've amazing. I've had better. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I've had better? <laughs> I mean, I feel like if someone said that to me, I would at least laugh, no? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, I can, wh where is this gonna go? Are those real? Everybody's been real nice. Well, wonder why. Big jugs. <laughs> I mean, your boobs are huge. <laughs> I wanna squeeze them. <gasps> Mama. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I think this curse did more than make you just not lie. It makes you like speak your mind. <laughs> Would you spare some? Yes, I could. Uh, will ya? How oh, come? Because I'm a Scrooge. You will buy booze with it. Uh. My car to the office without being confronted by the decay of Western society. <laughs> I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful. He might be waiting for you on a corner somewhere. You should have a sick day. Just call in sick. It might not be an option. You look like you're having a rough morning. Ding, ding, ding! Have for Johnny! <laughs> Our case is simply this. Equality. What? He's trying so hard to lie. <laughs> You want to play hardball? I'm game. That's what she got from that? That he's going to play hardball? That? What are you doing? What is wrong with you? You oh. should have been cast in A Few Good Men. How are we doing this morning? I'm a little upset about a bad sexual episode I had. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> well, you're still young. It'll happen more and more. What do you say we get down to business? <laughs> That's a great response from the judge. Several times, Mr. E. I realize that, Your Honor, but I would really, really, really like a continuance. Yes, yes, you need one. I'll have to hear good cause, Counsel. I feel very sick. I'm not myself. I can't lie! Still waiting to hear good cause. Wanna not? Not! Most of <laughs> Dang it, dang it. I didn't think that through. Do we have a settlement? No! <laughs> 130 sharp. <laughs> Contempt of court coming soon. <laughs> Why couldn't we have someone like this in the Johnny Depp case? It's me! Oh, what? Who does that, even if they're forced to lie or anything? Whatever it takes to focus off your head. <laughs> What's up, Fletcher? Your cholesterol, fatty! This pen is. <laughs> it's rain! <laughs> Are we watching a shoe on head video? <laughs> this is physical comedy to the next level. Buy it or I'll break it off! <laughs> With three exclamation points, I like how it did that too. Man versus pen. What happened? <laughs> the pen is blue. <laughs> God damn it, pen is blue! Still better than Jared Leto's Joker, no? And you're here? Yes! Thank you for clearing that up, sir. And <laughs> Hello? Audrey? Fletcher, hi, are you- They had phones with cords in the car? Now I'm telling the truth. And last night you weren't. No. Well, what were you doing? Lying. Sex. Oh. <laughs> I don't even like her, but she's a partner, and I thought I could help my career by making her squeal. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. There could not be a worse phone call with your ex. Getting what I deserve. I'm reaping what I sow. I'm... <laughs>
<laughs> Dang, he has to be honest with himself. That's brutal. I have something important I want to talk to you about, okay? Is she going to tell him that they're going to move after all? We have to talk! Fletcher! I'll be right there! <laughs> I'm surprised that phone still works. That's actually kind of smart. <laughs> I mean, it's insane, but smart. Oh no, oh no, run from her. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Oh, that's, so that incident hurt his chance as a partner for sure. <laughs> Don't get into an accident, bro. Oh, well, his day is just getting worse. Oh, I can't wait to see him be honest with the police officer. I pulled you over. Depends on how long you were following me. <laughs> I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. <laughs> All. You no. kept track of everything. I have unpaid parking tickets. Oh, oh, holy, that's a ton. Why don't you pay your parking tickets? Did you come here in a cab? Yes. Where's your car? Oh, yes, to tell the truth. Great. Four dollars and eleven cents. How do you sleep at night? That is a lot. I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do about this? What? Nothing. Take it to small claims court, it'll just drain eight hours out of my life, and you probably won't show up. And if I finally just stiff me anyway, so what I'm gonna do is piss and moan like an impotent jerk, <laughs> bend over and take it up the tailpipe. <laughs> Been here before, haven't you? That's us dealing with the government all the time. <laughs> Not me! Yes, that's one of his best qualities. Yeah, but he's kind of. <laughs> I mean, yes. Everything you do matters to Max, and everything you don't. She is the most reasonable and honest ex-wife in any film I've seen. I'm a bad father. Dang. I'm a bad father. It's almost like an alcoholic saying it out loud for the first time. You lose Max too? I think she's so nice, she's gonna give him one more chance. Also, she doesn't love the other guy. This is the mother of all promises. What time? Uh, please tell me he actually makes it. 10 to 6. All right. <laughs> you better make it, even though I know he's not going to. He was making a birthday wish for just one day. His father couldn't tell a lie. Well, he just figured out why that happened to him. Like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Amazing book. Amazing. Hi. I'm Max's bad father. Er, I'm his father. <laughs> hey! Look how happy he is, man. Is wrestling real? In the Olympics, yes. On Channel 23, no. <laughs> Look, TV set make me go blind? Not in a million years. It is bad for you, though, right? Won't get stuck that way? Uh-uh. In fact, some people make a good living that way. <laughs> That's a nice little self-aware moment. Need you to take back that wish. I don't think it works that way. Also, you didn't learn your lesson, bro. When your mommy was pregnant with you, she gained a good 40 pounds. If I'd have told mommy she looked like a cow. Teacher tells me real beauty's on the inside. That's just something ugly people say. <laughs> okay, now do whatever you right, did I don't think last it's gonna night. work. It's not gonna work, bro. I did it. Excellent! Maybe you wish for something different. What did he say, though? Yesterday, when I wished it, I really meant the time when I unwished it. I only did it because oh, you told me to. Oh, shoot. That's a really honest response from the kid. I have to lie. Everybody lies. Mommy lies. House. But you're the only one that makes me feel bad. Oh. The kid is surprisingly honest, considering his father lies so much. I am coming. Believe me, don't you, Max? You'd better make it, I swear, dude. I mean, he's telling the truth, so he's genuinely gonna try, but... Yo, Fletcher, how's it going? Short, shriveled, and always to the left. <laughs> he needs your legal advice. Stop breaking the law, asshole! <laughs> Boss, are you all right? My son hates me. He doesn't hate you. I've seen you together. You're his hero. Exactly. Are incapable of lying. That's right! Just for today. At a 
apparently. Dang it, but she's gonna use this against him because she's angry. Remember a couple of months ago when I wanted a raise? Forget it. I don't want to do this. And <laughs> give me one of them. Right <laughs> it would create jealousy among the other secretaries. <laughs> Up the dough. That was smart. She knew exactly what to ask him. Tiffany's garage sale, six fifty mark down from ten. Oh my gosh! Wow. Here's your raise. <laughs> Way to quit. Hello, mom. Hi. <laughs> Don't speak with your mother. I guess you insist on talking to me about dad's bowel movement, size, color, frequency. I'll call you later. <laughs> but I'm the judge. Oh, God. You're in trouble. You are in trouble. A burglar. He fell through the kitchen skylight, landed on a cutting board on a butcher's knife. He sued my friend, and because of guys like you, he won. Oh, my gosh. That's insane. Is that justice? No. I'd have got him 10. Goodbye, Miss. God! <laughs> Tell me, what do you think of him? Oh, great. Oh, great. A worthless steaming pile of cow dung. Figuratively speaking. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Don't follow her. Just run away. Yes, yes. Nice to see you again, Fletcher. And by the way, I'll... Run. How much he thinks of you. Well, why don't you tell Mr. Allen? All right, there goes your job. A belligerent old fart, a worthless steaming pile of cow dung. I mean, most people think that about their boss. Figuratively speaking. <laughs> <laughs> this meeting got so much more interesting than it was. Come on, laugh. That's funny. <laughs> he does! Oh, the, this guy is not that bad. Come on, he has a sense of humor. Funniest damn thing I've ever heard! You're a real card, Reed. Come on, I'm not gonna lie. I think I would have this reaction. <laughs> he should have been out of the game years ago, but he can't stay home because he hates his wife. <laughs> you he turned into Jeff Ross. The biggest brown nose I've ever seen! <laughs> Were they drinking in this meeting beforehand? <laughs> you have bad breath caused by gingivitis. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Will! <laughs> the delivery was great. How many needs? A little irreverence! <laughs> Dickhead! Priceless! Holy! <laughs> <laughs> that, her plan totally backfired. That's amazing. <laughs> Dickhead! <laughs> They were 100% drinking or snorting cocaine during that meeting. <laughs> Too much laughter, he passed out. You look better. My client has not arrived! Hurry up! Here she comes to wreck the day! <laughs> From the shades drawn, but I was able to make a recording of one oh. session. This is gonna be damning evidence, no? <laughs> Yeah, definitely just playing cards. <laughs> yeah, that's why the kids should not be here. Jeez. Bro, come on! <laughs> what? How can it be proved that the male voice on that tape is not Mr. Cole himself? You're such a better lover than my husband. Wow, okay, that could not have, that could not have been timed better. Mr. Reed. Because it's devastating to my case! Overruled. <laughs> Good call! <laughs> You're a witness. Good luck, bro. Good luck. Also, is no one going to clean up that water? I mean, I'm surprised he doesn't have to use the bathroom with how much he's been drinking. So when you have a presentation for school and you haven't prepared at all. Wait, what just happened? Give me a short bathroom break! That if you hold it, you can damage the prostate gland, making it very difficult to get an erection or even become a rock. Is that true? It has to be. <laughs> In case, I better take a little break myself. <laughs> Okay, well, he delayed his doom, or is he gonna run out and go see his son? Think! Think! What could you do? I'm trying to put myself in his shoes. Owie! What? What's the epiphany? I don't get it. The full fight club? Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> go later. Go later. Or stay and watch. I don't know. Either one. Oh, what are you doing? 
<laughs> You've got to be kidding me, man. There has to be a better way to make yourself not presentable for court. What the hell are you doing? Kicking my ass! <laughs> Can I do it in privacy at least? I would love to know how many takes Jim Carrey did. He's doing so much with his body in this whole movie. I found him like this in the bathroom, Your Honor. Somebody beat the hell out of him. I mean, that actually would work. A desperate fool at the end of his pitiful rope. <laughs> That's pretty smart. Have the deputy search the building. Order. Order. I mean, the cameras would show that no one went in the bathroom, right? Unless, of course, you feel you can still proceed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes! Oh, you've got to be. I thought that was going to work. He says so that you can compose yourself and then we'll get started. Dang it, you beat yourself up for nothing. Oh, this case, it's gone. <laughs> Maybe you'll uh, be more generous towards the homeless people after this. I'll see you in a couple hours, okay? All right, bye. Who the heck is this guy with her? It's my lawyer, he's a little unorthodox, you get used to him. Oh, is this the guy she was having an affair with, or one of them? Hey, how you doing? I've slipped into the seventh circle of hell. Thank you. <laughs> Metaphorically. Have never made <laughs> What does a guy like check his jacket? Finish the question and my only answer is a lie. Oh, uh, wow, well, he can't even lead someone else to lie. These are strict rules, man. You may proceed, Mr. E. I mean, just own it. Just lose the case, right? What else can you even do? Respondent calls Kenneth Falk. If he finds out a way to, like, hack the system and win somehow, that would actually be pretty genius. Where to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do! Wasn't talking to you. Is entirely platonic. I object, Your Honor! <laughs> to yourself? <laughs> Rephrase the question. He's gonna do the prosecution's job for them. I don't know what you're on, but you better get to the point and quick. <laughs> I'm surprised they're not testing him, like, doing a drug test. It's not your relationship with my client, boy! <laughs> Dead baby! <laughs> Liar! He's badgering the witness. It's his witness. <laughs> <laughs> Who stuffed her like a Thanksgiving turkey? <laughs> <laughs> True, okay, I hooked her brains up. There, now you're happy? Dang, he broke just because of that? Jack Nicholson lasted way longer, bro. Um, it's like our job is done, thankfully. No questions. <laughs> it's the easiest day in court for them. Do I dare ask you to call your next witness? <laughs> no further witnesses, Your Honor. That's his audition for Batman. Your Honor! I call Samantha Cole to the stand. Wait, what does her age have to do with this? Order! Order! happens at 31. Out of sheer morbid curiosity, I'm allowing this freak show to continue. He appreciates the entertainment value. Play the tape again, maybe it's on there! I'm a brunette! Don't clip the audio, please. Wait, 105? Yeah, in your bra. You're on a... Bastard! Hey, quiet! Overrule! <laughs> Why would any woman want to do that? Yeah. It so I could get married. I Truth! He was only 17 when she got married. Oh, holy. Standard community property applies and she is entitled to half of the marital assets. Is that true? With that, I'm actually curious if that would hold up. Jordan fades back. Swoosh. And <laughs> that's the game! <laughs> Nothing further, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Are they clapping because he won or because of that insanely great performance? <laughs> Come on, what a day in court. She is hereby awarded half the marital assets. Ah! That's insane. Order. Order. <laughs> no, I'm contesting custody. What? Why? Sole custody of the kids, that's another 10 grand in child support payments. Oh my gosh. I'm the victim here, you said it yourself. Now I'm gonna hit him where it hurts. That is next level. You're competing to be the next Amber Heard. In that case, there will be a custody hearing on the 19th at 9 a.m. But by then, he'll be able to lie. He can do whatever he wants. Don't represent her anymore. You stop that whining or I'll give you something to whine about. Jeez, what are you mad about? You just won so much money. 
can you imagine being in that spot, you know, earning all your money somehow and then having to give your money to someone like that and not getting custody of your kids? I think we've made a big mistake. I am tired and very cranky. That's very honest. And having my judgment mocked in my own court is not something I'm prepared to tolerate. <laughs> hold you in contempt. I hold myself in contempt! <laughs> I have a date to play ball with my son! Oh, great. Great. He's gonna miss time with his son because of this. What? I am taking Max someplace where you can't do this to him. All right, time for a prison break. What are you gonna do? Hello? Time's up. No, just do just one more call. That was such a short phone call. He didn't go full uh, De Niro Goodfellas with that payphone. You made bail. Greta! Dang. Have you been sexually molested yet? Because I could circle the block. <laughs> <laughs> That's so decent of her to- You need a job? I don't think you can afford me. <laughs> What a forgiving heart after your boss treated you like that. I love my son! What's that video where it's Darth Vader running around being like, I have a son? It's like that. But it's not gonna make you happy! <laughs> I mean, speak for yourself. Oh, this is the happiest moment of my entire life. Oh, this poor, I kind of feel bad for this guy. Me, my, mine, well, ours, also. Definitely not. Yourself, it's the claw. No, 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 it's not gonna work. But this poor guy, he seems like such a nice guy and he is really making an effort. Flight number 120. What is he gonna do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't you get hurt going through those? Are you sure? Jerry, I can open the bag. Why is she so sensitive about it? Because? Yes, a anything with alcohol, please. <laughs> happiest moment of her life. How about that drink? Make it a double. <laughs> this is a Mission Impossible level. <laughs> I mean, he might get his son back, but he's gonna be arrested. <laughs> I mean, you can't stop the plane, right? Oh, this is gonna be a fish named Wanda moment. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. She does not love you. That wasn't exactly the answer I was looking for. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whatever it is, we can work on it. No, no, no. He's such a nice guy, poor dude. My God, it's Fletcher. No, no. <laughs> Fletcher. <laughs> this is crazier than when Captain Kirk saw that creature on the airplane. <laughs> That's a response wave. <laughs> what was that? You just ran over somebody. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, there goes everyone's luggage. I hope you didn't have any camera equipment in there. <laughs> what true love will do for you. I mean, this would make national news. Far enough, folks. Yeah, he's my husband. All right, go ahead. Okay. Really? You would let an ex through? Both my legs are broken, so they can't take me right to jail. Dang. All this time you've been here, and I could see any time I felt like it, but I didn't. More than anything else in the world, Max. And you know it's true. I couldn't say it if it wasn't true. Hmm. It was the truth. I just wanted to be honest with you. I always want to be honest with you. Dang, wow. He looks like he still has doubts, though. Do we have to go to Boston? Oh, the poor guy. No, Max. You don't have to go. Yeah! Dang. Good for Jerry. He's the one to say that. That's an opening a ticket if you ever change your mind. Thank you. You'll find a nice girl. Someone who actually loves you, man. Looks like he's got his father back. <laughs> and he's not even bitter. He's, like, happy for the kid. Like, that's a decent dude, man. Okay, Max. Make a wish. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if we should do this. Oh. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening again? I mean, who knows? <laughs> Make it a good wish, please. Something. Wish for, I don't know, happiness, world peace. Is this what he wished for? Because if that's true, does it count? No. I wish for rollerblades. Oh, really? Is he telling the truth, though? 
I mean, what did he do with his career afterwards? I'm curious. Did he start his own firm? He's not gonna tell the truth again. <laughs> oh, is this like rush hour? Okay, okay. Bounce those things like Sugar Ray Leonard. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Prenuptial agreement. Prenuptial. <laughs> How much was improvised? <laughs> it must have been so hard for the other actors to keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That's so cool. He laughed. That's so cool. That's good. He seems like a good sport about it. Oh, I really like how they include that. I feel like more comedies nowadays need to include the outtakes, especially if they're so funny. All right, so that is Liar Liar. I mean, obviously a hilarious movie and, you know, really one of those movies where the premise is good for sure, but I think the heart and soul of it was completely carried by Jim Carrey's performance. I, you know, I don't... I, I almost wonder if this whole script was written with him in mind, but regardless of the behind-the-scenes, you know, reality, he really did make this movie 100% his own, and his, you know, I, I think Jim Carrey is known for physical comedy, and I think he delivered that extremely well in this film, and I don't, to, to me, that's not, you know, in, in any way uh, a knock against his talent or skill. You know, physical comedy is not easy to pull off. That's very difficult. And I think you really wanted something like that to make, you know, the just the, the awkward social situations and his struggling not to lie. It added so much with just the over-the-top expressions and the things Jim Carrey was both acting out and showing on his face, you know, it, I, I, it, I almost wish I could see a cut of this movie with a different actor playing Fletcher just so we could have those two pieces of art side by side and really demonstrate how an actor in certain films is totally unique for that project. You know, I just feel like, I mean, I would feel bad for the other actor, although maybe someone else talented could do a different take and that could be interesting too. But that's kind of something I would love to see just to have that side-by-side -side comparison to show how much Jim Carrey really did for this film. And of course you have a nice lesson, you know, something classic, you know, someone who works too hard and probably is not a very nice person in any way, learning to kind of reevaluate their life and especially the heart and soul of it, that relationship of Fletcher with his son, you know, similar to something like Hook, I guess. And it was, it was cool to see, you know, it was just cool. Um, you know, I don't think everyone, obviously this movie is kind of exaggerated for comedy, but it is one of those things you can think about, like how frequently people lie all the time and not even the big lies like in a courtroom necessarily but even with just little things like social nuances and things that you say excuses you come up with to get out of things or polite things you say to someone's face when what you're thinking in your head is very different and you know I think that there's definitely some value in being polite and not always speaking your mind, you know, that's not always called for to just blurt out what thoughts are going through your head, especially if it's unkind. But it is kind of, you know, I, I think that working towards, you know, being as honest as you possibly can is definitely a, a goal that you can shoot for and something you can just reflect on, you know, even little lies. I think it's just um, there's not really a good excuse for those necessarily. I, not to, you know, take some deep moral lesson out of this funny movie. But it is, you know, I think there's some truth to that that makes maybe some of the message of this movie a little deeper than just a mindless comedy. I feel bad for uh, Jerry. You know, here we have uh, such a decent dude. I, I like that. I like how he wasn't portrayed as some, you know, jerk of a new boyfriend for Audrey, but instead he was really a decent guy. I mean, maybe he was too boring or maybe they just, you know, fundamentally, I just don't think that she cared for him the way he loved her. But the fact that he was so considerate towards, you know, his girlfriend's son and was also just such a decent guy. I mean... <laughs> I feel bad for him. I really do. I, I hope he found someone amazing in Boston and 
you know, had a good life. That's that's in my head canon. That's what I'm going to say happened. Oh, but I had a really good fun, a uh, really good time with this movie. Had a blast. Lots of laughs. Uh, lo- you know, huge credit to Jim Carrey. I'm looking forward to now watching Ace Ventura, which I believe is like a parody of, I don't know if it's a parody of, of James Bond. I think that's Austin Powers, which is also on my list of other movies I'm going to watch. I actually don't know what it is exactly a a parody of, but I know it's considered a ridiculous, just crazy comedy. And like I said, I actually think that was Jim Carrey's big breakout role. Could be wrong about that, but just excited to kind of check that out and see if it's anything like this movie. I will definitely enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, as always the full reaction to this. Future uh, reactions are up on Patreon. If you want to support the channel, help me out, check those out. Thank you to everyone for watching, and as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.